Yo, what's up guys? It's Zigzee and welcome back to another video. So this morning I did something kind of crazy. So there's this thing in Miami called the 305 half, which is basically half a marathon. And come to my surprise, one of my friends, Johnny, who was the one who actually invited me to this whole thing, a few weeks ago hit me up and was like, yo, I want to run this shit. And I was like, yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Like, like we got it, we got it. You know, me, I run a lot, but I don't run fucking half a marathon's worth. So every few weeks we'd meet up and, you know, run, run a few miles. I think we started with five, then we went up to seven. And then, you know, the usual three miles that I always run. So I didn't do too much training for that shit. And I had to go away for a week. And I pretty much wasn't running the week that I came back. So it's been two weeks since I've trained for this shit. Here I am thinking, you know, you know what? I think I might fold. The little bit of pride that I had in myself, you know, I couldn't fold. I had went out the night before. And let's just say I was pretty fucking tired. I got home like around 1230, knocked out, woke up like at five. So that's about four or five hours of sleep. So I checked my phone and there's no text from Johnny. So I'm like, oh. He's asleep. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to do this shit after all. Or maybe he just forgot. So I was kind of hoping and praying that he kind of did forget. But at the same time, in the back of my head, I did think it would be pretty cool to do half a marathon. So I put an alarm and I go back to sleep. A few minutes later, though, I hear my phone ring and it's my boy Johnny saying that he's on the way to pick me up at five. Mind you, I'm just in my boxers, knocked the fuck out, and he's five minutes away. So I got up, got ready, and we were pretty much out when he got here. Now, the thing about me, and this might be a little TMI, it's mandatory that I take my morning shits. If I don't start off with my morning shit, my day is horrible. It's it's done. Because I can't do anything unless that shit is taken. So eventually he came to pick me up and let's just say I was knocking the fuck out in the car. I was struggling hard as fuck to stay awake. And I was just hoping and praying there was a bathroom next to where we were at. I'm going to show you some pictures now of when we got there. It was just like, you know. Obviously this big starting line and a shit ton of people waiting for it. We got there a little late, so we didn't get to run exactly with the people who were in the half marathon. We kind of started running with the people who were doing the 3K. So basically we got there pretty much right on time, literally three minutes before the race was about to start. And I was in full on panic mode at this time because I was looking around, there was no bathrooms. I kept asking around, zero bathrooms. So I was like, fuck it, I guess I'm gonna have to run and wait until I see a porta potty. So we start and then a uh, pretty solid start. So the more I run, the more the shit meter increases and the more I'm turtle heading. So we make it to like about a mile and then I see porta potties on the side with people serving water. And I think to myself, it's only one mile. I, if it's every mile, I got this. I'll just shit on the two mile. Uh, come to find out we hit the two mile and there's no porta potties. There's no people standing there cheering us on. Nobody giving us water. And this is when panic mode started to set in because I don't know how much longer I can hold this shit in. While we were running, there was like some houses under construction and I saw a porta potty in there and I dead ass almost jumped the fence to go shit. But eventually around like the two point five to 2.7 mile range there was a porta potty i literally screamed the light at the end of the tunnel so we run to the porta potties i take my shit my boy johnny takes a piss and uh he finishes pissing and this shit's not ending i'm there shitting and shitting and he's like you know what bro like at this point i'm gonna just dip out you catch up when you can and i'm like okay th that should be easy this pace is light you know light pace i'm used to running this faster where he leaves and now it's just me and my demons in that porta potty and when i tell you this is the sweatiest i've ever been taking a shit it was disgusting it was literally disgusting. Feeling my sweaty body, smelling the smells that I was smelling. Definitely don't want to do that shit again. I get out like three to five minutes after Johnny left and I'm like, okay, time to start running and catch up. So I want to say I run like another mile or two and then comes this big ass bridge. I still haven't seen Johnny. I still don't know where he's at, but I'm like, right now it's just me against the bridge. I'm not going at a fast pace at all. I'm just lightly jogging. It was like a 10, 30 to 11 minute pace. And I was just going up that big ass bridge. And let me tell you that shit was ass. Halfway through, I just started walking. Cause I was like, you know what? I'm going to go faster walking than if I <laughs> do these tiny ass little jogs. I made it to the peak and then started running and it was just smooth sailing from there. Like the gravity took me down when I was going downhill and I was just, I wasn't sprinting, but I was running significantly faster than I was. So at this point I'm like, like at the five five six mile mark and i think i still haven't seen johnny and you know we pass another porta potties and of course i stopped to take a piss which put me a little bit more further behind johnny so at this point i was like you know what i don't want him to run this shit by himself you know we came together as a duo i'm gonna try to find him so i opened up find mine i saw his location and it said it was he was like 0.2 miles ahead of me and i was like bet bet let's catch up to him let's pick up the pace stop fucking around let's find the boy so basically at this point, the bridge took us down into the city. And honestly, this was the dopest part of the run in my opinion, because it's not every day that you get to see the city of Miami like fully empty, nobody there, no cars, no traffic, no people. I just got to enjoy the buildings and have to give a fuck about anybody around me. And then lo and behold, right before we get back on the highway to make a little turn back onto the main part of the track, I see it. I see the red hat he's wearing and I just fucking sprint. And that was kind of a mistake because that little sprint took so much out of me, but whatever. I finally caught up to Johnny. We're gonna 
to finish this race together. So by the time I caught up to him, we were on like the seventh, almost eighth mile. And this is when shit started getting serious. I started getting really tired and uh, it was just a mental game at this point. My feet were starting to get sore and tired. My calves were starting to get sore and tired and we had to run back up that motherfucking bridge. And I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't even attempt to run up the bridge. Johnny did and like God bless him, but I couldn't. I fucking walked up that bitch and every time Johnny would get a little bit farther away, I would just run right behind him and catch up. But it came to a point again that we kind of got separated because my dumb ass walked too much and thought I could catch up to Johnny easily. Once again, I kind of lose Johnny. So eventually I get back to the tip of the bridge and honestly, the views on the bridge were nice. Here's some pictures now. Just seeing the water, that shit was dope as fuck. So I get to the top of the bridge and I see a little turning point and I'm like, okay, I might not be that far away. That's probably like two minutes of running away from me. This is the point where I started to get worried because I didn't see Johnny anywhere. I was looking for his red hat i was looking for his blue shirt but nothing eventually I, I kept staring at that little turn and eventually i saw his red hat but that motherfucker was far so i kind of did the same stride that i did in the first bridge when it was downhill we basically sprinting down that hill i'm just so thankful i didn't eat shit going down that hill because that shit would have been number one embarrassing and traumatic falling down that big ass bridge in front of all those people i definitely would have had to just jump in the water and never show my face again so i'm running down the bridge and after about like three minutes of running i finally catch up to johnny and i'm fucking dead so by the time i caught up to him we were about 11 miles down to my miles to go this was even more of a mental game because like i want to stop but at the same time i don't because i just want to get this shit over with i know the more i walk the more i'm going to stay there the more tired i'm going to get and the more likely put of a chance i'm not going to want to run and at this point of the route we were kind of near south beach where you know all the main attractions are we're running through the little trail you know seeing the bikes and you know the different people also running and you know the beach was right next to us we saw the volleyball courts the big boys working out and then we make it to one mile left now, this was the home stretch. I tried increasing my pace a little bit because this fire ass song came up. I want to say I did like the first 0.3 of the mile, like pretty decent pace. But once that song ended, it went to shit. I started feeling all my pains again and I just wanted to fucking stop running. I just wanted to stop running. I was tired of this shit. So as we're running, you know, we see a bunch of photographers and like, oh, you got it. One more mile left. You're almost there, almost there. And there we see it. The home stretch, the finish line. So we're doing it. We're running. We get there. We're about across the finish line. And some guy stops us because we're not actually a part of the race. Because because we don't have a number and i'm not gonna lie that shit kind of pissed me off because this race costs like 50 to 100 bucks just to participate in and that's kind of fucked up you know i don't want to pay that shit just for a fucking medal and a t-shirt i would just rather run that shit for free myself and you know if they were generous you know slide me a medal the fuck so after going around, we finally crossed the finish line on not the official side. And, you know, we just chilled there for a bit, trying to think about what we just did, the experience we just had. And honestly, as kind of shitty as it was, it wasn't that bad. Like every time I looked down at my phone, so I would basically only look at my phone when I had passed like a mile because, you know, my phone rings and it's like, oh, you've done one mile, whatever. But every time I looked at my phone, other than that, it felt like the miles were going by pretty fast. Like I would hear the mile, look at my phone, and the next time I look at it, it'd probably be, I'd probably be like halfway or 0.7 through the mile. Maybe it's because it started off so early or maybe because I got on that runner's high, but everything, it wasn't a blur, but it basically blended in together a little bit. Overall, I'd say this was a pretty fun experience, even though technically I wasn't a part of the race, but I still thought it was a pretty fun time. Everybody was encouraging everybody else, and it was kind of cool to see people coming together for once. Now, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, I, it was never really my intention to actually run this thing. I kind of just wanted to do it to see if I could do it. And you know, if I'm running it with a friend, like, fuck it, you know, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do that shit by myself. So the real question is will i actually be running a marathon um maybe <laughs> like give it time because honestly the only thing that that got me towards the end of the run was just you know like my feet were, were getting like so sore and tired my breathing throughout the whole thing was pretty good i didn't feel too too tired cardiovascular wise and i only cramped up like once but it went away after like three minutes i'd definitely be interested to see if i can do a whole marathon but i'm not going to be able to half-ass it like i did this one i'm definitely gonna have to train for that one so i plan on doing another half a marathon just to you know get my bearings in Make sure that one is pretty easy when I do it. So by the time I do the marathon, I shouldn't have that many problems. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys want to see me train for the marathon, if you want another marathon video, and if you like, you know, little videos like these. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.